from Cameo. If y'all saw the clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was flagged. This is the story of R&B group Cameo. Cameo is an American funk band that formed in 1974. The group was initially a 14-member group known as the New York City Players. They later changed their name to Cameo. As of the first half of 2009, some of the original members continued to perform together. Two other original members were hired by the hip-hop group Outkast. In 2015, Cameo announced a new residency show at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino, opening in March 2016. On February 20, 2019, Larry Blackman of the group announced El Paso, the first new single from the group in 19 years. Cameo topped the R&B charts for more than a decade, has sold more than 18 million albums, and is considered one of the most popular funk bands of its era. The band's lineup has constantly fluctuated since its original formation, with Larry Blackman being the only original member of the group. They continue to tour to this day. An outlandish in-your-face stage presence, a stage, a strange sense of humor, and a hard-driving funky sound that crisscrossed a few musical boundaries earned Cameo countless initial comparisons to Parliament Funkadelic. However, Cameo eventually wore off accusations of being derivative by transcending their influences and outlasting almost every single one of them. Formed by band leader Larry Blackman in 1974 as the New York City Players, the group was signed by Casablanca Records to its Chocolate City imprint in 1975 as the Players. However, according to original group member Nathan Leftenant, the group soon changed its name after the threat of legal action by Mercury Records due to the name The Players, being too similar to the Ohio Players, who recorded for Mercury at the time. The name Cameo was derived from a brand of cigarettes sold in Canada that the group saw during a visit to that country. Prior to this, Larry Blackman, keyboardist Gregory Johnson, and the late Gwen Guthrie formed the band East Coast together with James Wheeler, Melvin Way, Michael Harris, and Harris Fry uh, on trombone. They released one self-titled album in 1973 on the independent label Encounter. Cameo started with a deep funk sound, but it was obvious from the start their rights their sights were set on the dance floor. Their first album was Cardiac Arrest, which featured its first hit single, Rigor Mortis. Follow-up albums We All Know Who We Are, Ugly Ego, and Secret Omen contained dance floor songs such as I Just Want To Be and It's Serious. The latter, which was used for a dance contest scene in the 1978 film Thank God It's Friday. The group's debut single, By My Way, was a disco song that was also used in the film and was included on the Thank God It's Friday soundtrack. By My Way was the cover of a 1972 Three Degrees in a 1969 Times tune. The 1979 single, I Just Want To Be, was Cameo's breakthrough hit. It reached number three on the Billboard magazine R&B chart, and along with the follow-up single, the top 10 R&B ballad, Sparkle, pushed the album's secret omen to gold status with sales of over 500,000 copies. The group's first album to achieve this status. Their next album, Cameosis came out in 1980 and also achieved gold status thanks in large part to the funk classic Shake Your Pants. The mid-tempo single We're Going Out Tonight and the ballad Why Have I Lost You, a re-recording of a song from their 1978 album We All Know Who We Are. It reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart and number 25 on the Billboard 200 chart. Their highest positions yet. The second album of 1980, Filming, 1981's Night of the Sound, Table, and 1982's Alligator Woman also went on to gold status and saw the group playing up their eclectic style. The group released their She's Strange in 1984, which performed well and hit number one on the Billboard R&B chart and number 26 on the Billboard 200. The album's title track, Eponymous single, became the group's first number one R&B hit as well as their first charting pop single reaching number 47 on the Billboard Hot 100. 1985's album single Life featuring the title track and Attack Me With Your Love hit number two on the top R&B chart and continued the group's momentum, paving the way for what was to come the following year. The single Word Up was released in 1986 and it reached number one on the Billboard R&B chart, plus number six on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming the group's biggest single on the pop chart. The follow-up single Candy reached number one on the R&B and 21 on the pop charts. While the next single, Back and Forth, reached number three on the R&B and number 50 on the pop charts. Meanwhile, the company album also hit numbers eight and one on the Billboard 200 and top R&B charts, respectively, becoming their highest charting album. 
Two years later, Cameo released Machismo to mix with critical reviews and dropped to chart at numbers 10 and 56 on the top R&B and Billboard 200, respectively. Cameo then followed up with 1990's Real Men Wear Black and 1992's Emotional Violence. The previous release was followed by two compilation albums in between the time of their next recording. In 1994, In the Face of Funk was released on the band's independent label and hit 10 on the top R&B chart. This album was then followed by a six-year unofficial hiatus with several compilation releases until the next album, Sexy Sweet Thing, in 2000. The album hit number 64 on the top R&B chart and is their most recent charting album. In 2001, a sample from Cameo's single, Candy, was used in Mariah Carey's single, Loverboy. The song hit number two on the Billboard Hot 100 and Larry Blackman was given a cold songwriting credit. In March 2016, Cameo began a year-long Las Vegas residency show at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino. Aaron Mills continues to tour with Cameo as well as other artists. He has worked with Outkast, playing on their singles Miss Jackson and Prototype, among other tracks. Ex-member vocalist John Kellogg became an entertainment lawyer, representing such artists as the OJs, the late Gerald LeVert, and LSG. He also pursued a career in music industry higher education becoming assistant chair of the music business management department at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. Gregory B. Johnson has released two CDs on his own label, All Spice Records in 2007, a new hit, which is a smooth jazz CD. And in 2012, Funk Funk Just For A Little Time, an urban funk CD. Cameo began as a horn-oriented funk group in the 1970s, influenced by Parliament Funkadelic. By the 1980s, Cameo expanded their sound with influences from pop, hip-hop, rock, and reggae, and placed more emphasis on keyboards and drum machines. Candy is still that joint that everyone bumps to at cookouts and weddings. Okay, y'all, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.